welcome to Vilma Live in LA. I am your host, Vilma. And as always, I'm so happy to be here with you. So happy to have you spend your precious time with me. This week's episode, we are revisiting one of the most fascinating artists, one of the most interesting interviews we've done on our show, Anna Agabre Hernandez. And she's got this great tagline, flying high with a purpose. I love it. I love it. Okay, so who is Anna Agabre Hernandez? Okay, he is a global renowned artist, an author, a poet, and a humanitarian. Yes, Anna Agabre Hernandez. We talk about her beautiful, identifiable works of art. You know, you can, you know, when there's a stroke right there, the colors, you know that it's Anna's and it's a Filipiniana theme. It's just so vivid, the colors that she chooses, that she combines and, you know, her vision of the Filipiniana is just, it really touches my heart. And I'm sure that, you know, you will agree with me. And she also recites this very melodic poetry in Tagalog. Yeah, so you can hear that in a bit. Plus, did you know that she comes from a very famous bloodline family? Yes, Salud Algabre is a famous hero in the Philippines. Wow. <laughs> and then... She is also married to an ambassador of the Philippines. Wow. She just, I love her. She is so amazing. And I've known her for a very long time. And I'm really so happy to be revisiting her interview and sharing it again with everybody out there. So let's go. Vilma, live in LA, flying high with a purpose. Anna Algabri Hernandez. So welcome to the show. Finally, we have her on, Anna Algabre Hernandez. Hi, Anna. Wow. Uh, thank you. And, and hello to all the viewers of Vilma Live in LA. Yes. I am so privileged and so happy to be here. You know, somebody would like to say hello to everybody. Is that fine? Sure, absolutely. Okay, let me call him here. <laughs> oh, I'm about hi. To this. Hi. Like, oh, oh my goodness. Hi. Ambassador. Oh. That's such a cool thing. Yes. How long, how long has it been? Oh, about 30, how many years? 30, 30 years. <laughs> yeah, 30. People are like, no, no, no. Yeah. Or 25 years because my son. When I was pregnant at that time that we watched the show, uh -huh. he's now 24 years old and he's now in law school. Can you believe it? From baby now, he's already so big. Amazing, amazing. So, yeah, since then, um, you know, there's so many things. I'm just so happy for all of your accomplishments, all of your travels, ambassador, amazing. You've been to so many um uh, places that you represent the Philippines and the mission, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 You and were vice consul at that time you met him. He was in Hong Kong. A young Starting. officer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's like, wow, I, I'm just so honored that, you know, you could be here and then we could reconnect on such an, you know, uh, amazing um, level opportunity. And the world really has changed. So it's it's kind of bigger, but then at the same time, we're closer because yeah. of the technology. Yeah. So where do you stay in LA? I'm in LA, yes. Okay. I, I'm kind of a native LA now. <laughs> what do they call it? I'm an Angelino. Angelino. I'm an Angelino. Yeah. I've been here actually in California. I've been here almost 20 years, really. Yeah. 20 years. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
through. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, you left Hong Kong as well. Right? Yeah, the year 2000. We left in 1999, right? We left in 1999 for the Netherlands. Yeah. For the yeah. Netherlands? We haven't changed, huh? She looks still uh, young. young. Pretty. Hi. Oh my, uh, I will gift you something later. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You guys are just, you know, so close to my heart, really. Yeah. So, you know, you have such a great tagline. Um, flying high with a purpose. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, who came up with that? Yeah, I did, I did. Actually, do you want to stay? Can he stay or he has to go? Whatever he likes. This is, you know, this is community actually. Uh, GFN, we're, we broadcast on the GFN channel, which is a global Filipino network. And it's based out of San Francisco. Uh, I think that was in, um, it's a dot word. So we had that um, Arnold uh, Pedregal, who's the founder of GFN, he had a dream and a mission to be able to unite the Filipino community globally and you know, some somehow 2019 and 2020 it just exploded, and we're able to reach more than 14, 15,000 people. Uh, he's got that many followers, and a lot of shows now. But really uh, focused on the Filipino community and everyone else, everyone. Congratulations! Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Of, uh, film alive in LA. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's film alive in LA because we do reach uh, non-Filipinos also, and they're so impressed with the talent that uh, the Filipino community has. Yeah. Mabuhay, Vilma. Yeah. Any message? Yeah, ingat and you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, ingat to take care, uh, especially nowadays. Yeah, the Philippines is waiting uh, for vaccines mm -hmm. from different countries. So hopefully, it will come uh, by the uh, second part of this year or the third quarter of this year. We're all waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so we can all like travel. We can all, you know, socialize physically. In the meantime, this is perfect. Right. We'll okay. See. I have to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. You yes. too, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so hopefully we can catch up one of the Both of them. Wow, it's, it's lovely, it's so lovely.
Filipinos who are in the Philippines could not speak Tagalog. And uh, I'm not, I, I don't encourage that one because, uh, you know, you, you have to at least know your language. It, it is a part of your identity. So I started writing in Tagalog. And of course, eventually, um, I also started writing poetry in English. Uh -huh. I did write some stories. Um, but the ones that were published were the ones in the Filipino language for the children's stories. So yes, writing came first and then painting came next because um, although I grew up with painting, with art, as I was saying, I took it for granted. Not until uh, it seemed like my dad was falling ill and actually he passed away about more than three years ago. Uh -huh. um, but I really went back, that I really focused and concentrated in painting. Yes. I, I found a lot of fulfillment. And it's um, the gratification is really yes. there when you it, It's such, it's unspoken. You can't pinpoint it. It's a feeling, right? Yes, that's right. Yes. It's also poetry in mm -hmm. itself. It's just that, you know, there's a written poetry that uses letters. Mm -hmm. And this is poetry for me. And it's also storytelling, only that I don't use words, but I use colors. I use images and strokes and canvas or, or acrylics. So it's the same thing for me. It has a story to tell. Yes. So, you know, the painting in behind you, there's that purple one. What's the title of that? Okay. Um, this is uh, this is part of my Canvas in Mind series. Uh -huh. so that's how I titled them all because I started doing them during the quarantine. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And in Turkey, they had there was a lockdown, and when we say lockdown, you really should stay in your house. Right. It's not <laughs> so we were really in our house, and uh, I think uh, artists would agree with me that that is such a blessing. It <laughs> is. I wrote a lot of songs. <laughs> <a time> <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Time for me to read. To really bring out your artistic, you know, you know, just your art, and you, you, it's beautiful because you focus on the Filipiniana. Because I see a lot of them in the native Filipino costumes. So those two dancing ladies behind you, what's the title of that one? This yeah. one's our title. Sorry. sorry what is Manok. that? Sorry, Manok is actually a rooster. Or Sari Manok. Sari Manok, I, I believe in the Muslim, it actually came from the Muslim, oh, now I forget the story, but uh, it's a combination of Christian and Muslim art mm -hmm. because the, the dance is what we call the floral dance. The floral dance is a dance, uh, is one of the Philippine, Philippine folk dances that is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Okay, so that's one. And then the Sari Manok, the, like a rooster for the skirt is is a Muslim ha, it, there is a Muslim story about it so it's a combination of Christian and Muslim for that artwork so I call it my these are my Christmas art Christmas art yeah so, anyway the, this one belongs to the series that I call Sari Marnok or the Bulak Lakan floral dance series it's beautiful because now I can see how, you know, the rooster colors, you know, the on the top of their their heads. I can see that right there, you know, the colors and the way it flows that way is like an upside down rooster. Uh, I can't, I forgot what it's called, but the crown. I can see that now. Beautiful. I love your imagination. Do, do you speak yes, Kapampangan? Yes, I speak Kapampangan. Actually, yeah, would you like to say something in your dialect? Yeah, go ahead. May napabengi kaya kayo man, karing ega na ganang kapampangan. Katula ko po at ang chukukin ng show ay naning built mall live in LA. Mimingat kayo po again at saka takala-dakala salamat for watching built mall live in LA. Wow! Love it! Love it! And here's your poetry, Mahal Kita Pilipinas. Mahal Kita Pilipinas, sampu ng iyong kahinaan at lakas, ng iyong tagumpay at lumbay, ng iyong nakaraan at kasalukuyan. Mahal Kita Pilipinas, pangakong laban ay hindi bibitaw. 
ilalantad ang nagkukubling halimaw, itatanggol ang kaban na inaagaw. Mahal kita, Pilipinas. Lilingapin ko ang liwanag sa dilim na sumusunggab. Kaakibat ang sigaw na kapara ng batingaw na kay halay may baspas. Nang sa gayon ay walang pagal ang hiyaw na aalingaw-ngaw. Lilikha, gagawa, pipikas para sa iyo, Pilipinas. Hanggang bukang liwayway ay muli at muling mapukaw. Mahal kita, Pilipinas. Ngayon, bukas at matapos pa ang bukas. Ana Algabra Hernandez, Interview Part 2, The Artist, The Poet, The Humanitarian. Ana Algabra Hernandez. And so, tell us about the, the Algabra. Yeah. Okay, the Algabras. The Algabras come from Cabunga, Laguna. So, hi to everyone that's from Laguna. I'm sure there are a lot of Because she was what we call one of the unsung heroes of the Philippines. But of course now a lot of people, now that there's technology and it's easier to do research, you don't have to go to the place, you can just put it in, check the archive, you can talk to people like this. Um, so uh, they're trying to gather materials about the heroism, the bravery, and the beauty that is uh, General or Generala Salud Algabre. Wow. And I'm very happy. Not because she's my grandmother, but because she is really a symbol of an empowered woman. Right. She made a difference. I mean, very early on, she was already paving the way for women. The empowerment. That's right. That, yes. Actually, she was married and she has she ha, she has children, um, but she kept her surname. At that time, it, it's not, uh, you know, it's not, not really a, something yeah. that is quite common for the Philippines. Not at all. But she kept her surname. But uh, otherwise, she married somebody whose surname is Generala. Generala. But she became known as Generala Salud, not because of the surname Generala of the guy she married, but because she was the general in the Sakdalista part. And now it's Anna, the artist. is where my first painting where um, that I was confident enough to show okay this one's I think I uh, yes I put them on Instagram last is that Palayok is that called Palayok you Palayok and also the other one is also a Palayok which is open and uh, my inspiration for this one are again the Philippine women particularly in the Cordillera region uh, because part of the purpose of my art is also to promote our indigenous culture, promote the, not only the region, but also the culture and the people of Cordillera. Anna, the humanitarian. So, besides artwork and your travels, what other things 
do you like to do or have you have time to do that you know now you're back in the philippines what would you like to accomplish yes i'm, I'm i don't consider myself uh, accomplished in any of those fields i i just know a little bit of painting i just know a little bit of poetry a little bit of writing so uh so humble like especially my art i'd like to use it to for charity so in fact we will have this uh, exhibit with the angeles museum my mom is the pampanga is from pampanga so um, and i grew up in angeles city it was only my university days that i went to manila and then when i did my career with Cafe that i went to hong kong and that's where we met right anyway, absolutely so we've been exhibit with the museum of Museum in Angeles, meaning in English it's Angeles Museum, and the proceeds will benefit the construction, renovation, the purpose, uh, and the improvement, general improvement of the museum. So these are the things that I'd like to talk in. Use my art to be able to help others. Um, yes. And and um, I also volunteered. <laughs> I also volunteered to some schools that are. Especially with special children, to read my short story uh, because they're in Tagalog. So, and uh, and sometimes the challenge also is that um, some of the schools, um, the the children are more comfortable with English stories, with stories that are written in English. So that is, uh, but you know, um, they have to be multilingual, especially nowadays that we all have to be global citizens. We know where we belong, we know our identity, but we are not just Filipinos, but we are global citizens, responsible globally. And she talks about her experiences traveling the world. In terms of uh, places where we are posted, we just finished Turkey. Like, so from Korea, he was close posted to Ankara. So that means he finished his, um, they call it the tour of duty, the duration of tour of duty abroad. So now he's back in the Philippines to assume a position in the Home Office in the Department of Foreign Affairs headquarters. amazing I love being able to share that with you revisiting the interview and thank you so much and I wish you all the success in the world your art your poetry your humanitarian efforts and every anywhere and everywhere that you go into the world you really touch people's lives so thank you Anna El Gabriel Hernandez and thank you, everybody, for being with me on Vilma Live in LA. We'll have more for you, as always, when we bring you things. It always comes from me, bringing you a whole lot of love, always. Ding! See you soon on Vilma Live in LA. Every day is a good day.